Yeah, nice. Yeah. What's going on Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. I woke up to the World Cup final this morning. I watched it with Dad. France picking up the 4-2 victory. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Do you think they deserved it? Do you think it should have been maybe a bit closer of a game? Do you think maybe Croatia should have executed on their chances a little bit more? Let me know down in the comments. In my opinion, France were always going to be the better team. It's just how it was going to go. But man, Croatia put up a fight, especially in that first half. And that VIR, that really hit them hard. Imagine you're playing in a World Cup final, it's one all. You know you're the underdog, and then the other team gets a VAR penalty to go 2-1 up. It kind of, it's just a stab in the chest, really. So I don't know, do you think VAR should exist? It kind of ruined that for Croatia because their chances and their hopes just went... I don't know, VAR, it definitely has its benefits, but there's a lot of disadvantages that I see as well. Anyway, I'm heading down to the park now to go and get a session in with Jack and Sam. Also filming the program, so extremely beneficial for everyone involved. Yeah, I just can't get away from football. It's too much fun. I also want to go to the gym today. I need to be putting that weight on, putting that power. But yeah, let's head down to the park. So we got the guys down here, Sam, Jack. How you guys going? You good? Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. You ready for today's session? Ah, uh, I'm so ready. You ready? Now, Jack. You're still injured. You're still pulling the injury card. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really have a choice, but like, even just coming down and watching, I'm absorbing so much information, and like, I, this is actually helping me so much. Like, Love it, mate. Like, yeah. Good that you come down here. Oh, <laughs> nice. Now, Sam, you're gonna join in a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of dribbling. Mm, yeah. You feeling it? Feeling ah, good? I'm feeling good. Like, any day where I'm with Sheldon, just doing the program, is a good day. You already know it. We're smashing out this program. It's turning out good. Yeah. But there's so much work that has to be done. We're filming the drill. Then I've also got to make a PDF document with it. I've got to voice over the actual drill, explaining the key points from it, which I just run these guys through on the fly. But yeah, are you ready to get into it? Ready. I'm so ready. You're not going to be doing anything. Yeah, but I'll still... I've got to... Is your men are you mentally, mentally prepared? prepared? So you woke up this morning, you're like, I gotta be mentally ready. Exactly. Right, so we're gonna get into it. Here's a little bit of a montage from the clips. This is one of the drills that is going to be in the program. It's basically called the Y. You go around in and out and you're changing speed, changing direction. There's short. You guys can make this however you like it. You can make the top of the Y a little bit shorter, so you have to have closer ball control. You can make it longer to have longer distances. This is how Finn and I did it, remember. The montage of today was in yesterday's video and then the footage from yesterday was in today's video, if that makes sense. So this is one of the drills that will be in the program. I'm hoping to get the dribbling out over the next week and a half. With all of the PDF document and voiceover, it will be better than me just talking over it like this. But yeah, I can't wait to get it to you guys. This program is going to be sick. I've done more and more filming. There will be 50 dribbling drills at least in the dribbling section, maybe like 55 up to 60 tops. And then, yeah, that's the entire dribbling thing. There's so many different exercises. There's short ball control, there's long ball control. And each drill forces you into an uncomfortable situation where you have to adapt. And maybe you have to control the ball with the inside of the foot or the sole of your foot or the outside of the foot. That's what I believe in with dribbling. Make it uncomfortable. It's coming soon. Be ready. Be ready. See you later. <laughs> nice. I've just come home for a quick minute before I head off to the gym and I want to say if you have not downloaded OneFootball, make sure you go down below, click the link in the description. It is the best app, especially right now, to find all of the latest transfer rumors for your team. You want to see who's going to which club, make sure you download it, click the link in the description. I'm always on there, you guys should jump on it as well. Now, let's head off to the gym. So I finished that session, I'm now heading off to the gym. I am supposed to have my new program, but I'll see my sprint coach tomorrow, and then I think the session after that I go to the gym, I'll go with him, get the new program, and then start getting that done. I cannot wait, I tell you. Now with the gym stuff, it's difficult to hit the right form on an exercise every single time. Now I noticed a few people saying and messaging me, Sheldon, your push-ups are done incorrectly. I filmed it from a sideways point of view on purpose so that I myself can review my form and then make changes for the next time that I go. So I noticed that my lower back was a little bit slumped. So that's something I'll be working on this time when I do the push-ups. And look, it's just like in life, you make mistakes, you need to learn from it, and that's how you get better. If you don't make any mistakes, 
mistakes, you're going to be nowhere. Because without mistakes, you're not learning anything. It's just simple stuff. So let's head upstairs, get to the gym. I'm feeling a little bit tired, but we gotta do the hard yards here. All right, I'm halfway through my gym program, but I just wanna quickly say, remember we are trying to hit 15,000 subscribers. When we do that, I'll be giving away the kit that is on screen now, signed by me. But we have to hit 15,000 subscribers first. I reckon we can smash it out, so make sure you go down below, click the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton, it helps the channel out a ton. And yeah, one of you guys will be getting the kit, signed, shorts, top. You're gonna wanna win that one. So make sure you tell your friends, 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 grandmas, uncles, family, friends, dogs, cats, to subscribe, because we're on the road to 15K. It's my bum look big in this. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm hoping Fingers crossed this will be the last time that you guys see this lot of exercises. And I pray to God as well that this is the last time I have to do these exercises. Because they're getting a little bit boring. I need to progress. I've been speaking with my sprint coach briefly about it. So hopefully very soon that will get done. Now, I also want to say if you have not left a like on the video, make sure you go down below. Hit the like button. All you have to do is just move the mouse very quickly and hit the like button, it's easy as that. Those are some pointer dogs. I used to do something called bird dogs, if you guys remember that. It's just a little bit different. Some lawn mowers in here. Uh, I think I did 10 on each side by three with 15 kilos for that. From there, we move into back rollouts. So you bend down and you use your glutes first, then into your lower back, etc. lifting yourself up. I did 10 reps of three sets for that, just going up and down. Uh, and then moving on from there, we got into the push-ups. I kind of just superset these and get these done. I think this is a little bit better. My head is probably a little bit too far down, like reaching. You can see it's not really in line with the rest of my body. But I think my back is definitely a lot better. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm back home and it's time to make up a protein shake. I've managed to get some chocolate milk because we're actually out, I'm pretty sure. And I was going to get some more, yeah, we're definitely out. I wanted to get a big two liter one, but this one right here was 30% off, as you can see, only $1.50. So I was like, well, it goes off tomorrow, so why would I spend extra money when I can just get a nice little sale there, 30% off? Always, always saving money. I did put something up on my Instagram story. There's the photo, and I tested you guys. You sent in your answers, and some of you got it right, some of you didn't. If you don't know the reference to always, then man, you gotta watch the Crawley vlogs again. But this is what I'm also going to be putting in my protein shake. Just protein powder, nothing special about that. So yeah, here it is. There it is, the protein shake. It's got 600 mils of chocolate milk with I think two scoops of protein powder in there. I did not expect it to come all the way up to here. It tastes all right, but you've got to get it down Yeah, I need these calories in. I need to keep putting on weight. I keep telling myself, if I can get 70 kilos, 73 kilos, I'm going to be an absolute machine on the field. I'm going to have so much more power in my sprints. I'm going to be a lot stronger in those little physical battles on the field. I just can't wait till I get there. So I need to be grinding off the field, making sure I'm eating as much food as possible. And on top of that, getting the workouts in as well. So yeah, a little bit of a protein shake. Please take us through what you got. Wagyu beef with, what's it called? Brie. Brie. And what else is there? Salad. Yeah. And you got the exact same as me. I decided on it first. Whoa. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> So I've come back from dinner, Lucy's over there, I'm just chilling. Now, Dad and I were talking last night and we're thinking maybe I might bleach my hair blonde for the finals of the football season. Thoughts? No. Why? I look like Ter Stegen. Do you know who Ter Stegen is? Oh, he's a good looking guy. Oh, okay, do it then. Sweet. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. If you guys think I should bleach my hair blonde, a Maybe, okay, what about this? What if I just bleach the top bit and leave like the sides brown? I feel like that'll look weirder. <laughs> what about bleach blonde streaks? No, that'd be worse. All right, well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Doesn't really matter what Lucy says. 
I'm pretty keen to get something done because it'd be jokes. So I've read through a few of the hashtag Ask Tweety questions. One of them said, who is that player on the wall? Do you know who it is? Yeah, that's Messi. Alright. <laughs> did you know he's won the Ballon d'Or five times, meaning he's been crowned the best player five times in yeah, the world. For so five is Ronaldo. Years. But in my opinion, I think Messi's better because he's more creative. I think the exact same thing. I think, Weird. yeah, with his skill, I just think he's a better player than Ronaldo. Now, you've seen Ronaldo has made the move to Juventus. What are your thoughts on that move? Do you think it's going to be good for the club? How do you think it's going to be for Ronaldo? What are your thoughts? Well, if he can win the Champions League, then he might be the best player in the world, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Let me know <laughs> down in the comments. Let us know. We're interested to hear. Do you think if he wins the Champions League, he'll be the best player in the world? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to end the vlog there. Good to get the training session in with Jack and Sam. But on top of that, to go to the gym as well, it's just pretty much a perfect day. I need to make sure that I continue to eat as much food as possible, having those protein shakes, having the shakes at night, just everything I can to put on that muscle and the power. As you guys know, I just can't wait until I put on that mass. It's just so exciting to see what happens. I've been dropped by so many teams in the past because I've been too small. And that was one of the reasons why I didn't go back to England. I believe that there always was that possibility and that kind of thought in coach's head, well, he's not big enough. He's not ready for men's football. And if I can put on that mass and ready for next preseason, wherever it may be, whether it's in Australia or wherever else, if I am 70 to 73 kilos, I'm built, I'm fast. I need to give the coaches no reason to turn me down. Clayton, my sprint coach always says this. He says like, you don't want to be the one that's going to them and hassling them for trials. You want them to come to you, which look, that's the ideal situation. But let's say you do end up asking for a trial, which is most likely going to happen. You go into the club and train. You don't want to be the one that continues to ask them, hey, how am I going? How am I going? Although that may be the situation. Uh, the ideal situation for you as a player is you go there and you give them absolutely no reason to turn you down. If I can go there with strength, speed, and working on my 1v1s more and more, I feel like my passing and my shooting is always improving. My 1v1s is something I've never really worked on in the past, and if I continue to improve that, just by working in the park with different people, continuing to put myself in that uncomfortable situation during games, where I may lose the ball, and I'm completely okay with that. As long as I put myself in that situation, prepare myself for the future, then that's fine. In the league I'm playing in, it's not do or die for me. It's not like if I do poorly this season, nothing is going to come in the future. This season for me right now, the last however many weeks, is for me to learn and improve. So look, I'm not happy to lose the ball, but if I lose the ball attempting a 1v1, then I'm okay with it. It's just what's going to happen when you want to improve something that may not be your greatest strength. I believe I am a good 1v1 player. I need to recognize when to take 1v1s more, and I also need to increase my success percentage when I go to take a player on 1v1. So yeah, the future looks good. I can't wait. Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're out here. Join Jenny. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.